Hello and welcome to RTC TV 4, Abby Malko and Tim Wagner here at Rochester High School where the home zebras take on the visiting Whitco Wildcats. We will start off with some lineups first for the Rochester Zebras. Batting first, number seven, playing first base, Carter Hooks. Pitching, number 24, Aaron Brooks. Playing shortstop, number 10, Brady Perez. Number two, batting in the cleanup spot, playing third base is Zane Young. The DH for the catcher, Alan Pfeiffer, is number eight, Austin Foster. Center fielder, number 21, Joey Rock. Number one, Bryce Lehman is your right fielder. Zach Deshaun, number 12, is your left fielder. And rounding out the lineup for the Zebras is number three, the second baseman, Lease. Starting for Whitco this evening, lead off, number 15, Goff, third base. Batting in the two spot, number three, Bechtold, center fielder. Number three batter is number 21, Bradford, the pitcher. Cleanup is number 33, Hewitt, catcher. I'm clarifying notes here. Okay. Number 12, Hollowell, is the five spot, designated hitter. Number six, Shrouf, is the six spot, first base. Number seven is Robbins, second base. 24, West, shortstop. 17, Morris in right field. And number 10, Craig out in left field. We might get away with a game without snow, Abby. What do you think of that? You know, that would be nice. Yeah. I was surprised when it was sunny because we tend to uh, pick the games that have terrible weather. But the clouds over yonder look a little bit like rain. The rain picked us, it I did. think, is what's yeah. happening. Because yeah. we did. It was a sunny day, and then we got here. And it still might be sunny. It just may have a little rain interference in between. <laughs> it's, it's sunny above the clouds. Yes. Yeah. Somewhere else it is sunny. Right. Exactly. Usually where we are not. It was sunny when Brant and I filmed on Monday at Tippecanoe Valley. We it's just, me. Yeah. It I'm was, the X Factor. It, yeah. was, it was windy, though. It was, it's yeah. It's always windy. It's been windy at every game we've it's done, I think. It's always windy at yeah. Tippecanoe Valley, which is not too bad, as I say that. A tornado will come over. But it's not too <laughs> windy as of right now. Number so 15, Aaron Brooks just finished warm-ups. He is on the mound for the Zebras. And the first batter for Whitco is Landon Goff. He's your first baseman and your leadoff for this evening. Whitco sporting their fancy camo colored jersey. Is that what that is? I think so. That's kind of the new it's trend. It looks camo. Mm -hmm. It's like a digital camo, but with your school colors. Does instead. Rochester have that? Not that I have seen. I thought but, they had hats or something that uh, didn't look like that. Maybe. Maybe there's a softball team. I don't know. I've been gone for a while, so I don't really know. Okay. Okay. I don't really know exactly. No, uh, the catcher's helmet seems to have some camo yes, on the back there on the right. back plate. And a little outside there, ball one. Yeah, Rochester can be a little more camo colored. Gold and black looks a little more camo-ish and blue and white. That's fair, yeah. Not sure where that would work. <laughs> yeah, where you would camouflage too. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, a blue snow drift maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Ball yeah. two in the dirt on that one. You have to camouflage in Alaska. <laughs> the in the blue parts of Alaska. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Third pitch. Good looking strike on that one. Counts two and one to golf. Comes the pitch. Good. Got him on the outside there. Two and two. I definitely found the strike zone those last two pitches. I don't. I'm going to be taking a cut at this one. I'm guessing a foul ball. Oh, oh. Low and outside. Full that was, count. That's a good take on two strikes, though. Those yeah. Make me nervous. That's pretty close. That was a good look, though. Mm -hmm. Good look. Try and make him think. chase it. Good pitch, but. Didn't even think twice about it, it looked like. No, yeah. He didn't flinch. Got a good eye. Comes the pitch. Outside. That's a walk. Mm -hmm. Not a good Not a good start. Situation. No, no. No. But Up to bat, number three, in Alex one hit, Bechtel. it could also be turned into a, a double, double play. play. Yeah. yeah, true story. That's just crazy how the game works. I do always forget, you know, I've, we've done a couple softball games recently. Yep. Bouncing from softball to baseball. Man, it's slow. What is? Just 
bit pictures at the and, pace of mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that either is especially fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, but yeah. Maybe the illusion is faster of softball because the field is smaller. You know. Yeah. It Could just be. looks like everyone's going a little bit quicker. Oop. Then you've Trying got to catch the, them on first. Yes, you've got the throw the throws over to first base that don't happen in softball. The games that we play. Mm-hmm. The pickoffs. Within the game. <laughs> exactly. No, I think that last game we did, they were attempting to pick off for about, you know, two innings that worth. That yeah. yeah. Yes. Like you can throw the pitch in. You can just go ahead and pitch now. That's fine. Anytime. <laughs> Comes the pitch. Ooh, got him on the outside there on one. Yeah, I think Brooks is more comfortable working the outside corner, at least what we've seen so far. Staying away, making. I mean, not a lot of high school players are disciplined enough to go opposite field. They like to pull the ball. If you're a right-handed hitter, you like to pull it to the left side. So Absolutely. It's smart if he's staying on the outside corner. I'm trying to catch him out there, too, I think. Yeah. Get him maybe swinging on a breaking ball. It's when they start to realize his favoring it that they're going to they're gonna catch him. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe crowd the plate, and that's when he can bust him inside. Then yep. it gets, gets in on their hands. I've yet to see an inside pitch, though. Mm-hmm. He's probably waiting on it. Seeing if they can handle the outside first. One and one's your count. Just keeping an eye on first over there. Here comes the pitch. Way high. Kept an eye on it. Nope. Mm. He got back, thought he was leading off, but not so much. Yeah, smart play by Pfeiffer to have a heads up on that. That was the first kind of wild pitch that got away from Brooks so far, Just though. Just a little high. It almost seemed like it was quasi-intentional. They were watching first. A pitch out. Yeah. Ooh, high swing to center. And that's Joey and Rock going back. And it is a two-run home run. Very well hit ball. Yeah, he definitely didn't take any crazy swings, knew which one he wanted, and put a good swing on it. Plates golf also makes the score two to zero. Yes, that was um, Alex Bechtold, center fielder on the home run. Great swing on that one. Forgot to announce who that was, so now this brings up the pitcher, number 21, Bradford. Up to bat, number 21, Drew Bradford. I always find it interesting that their pitchers are so so high in the lineup. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Because in Major League Baseball, they're always the last. There's a whole league where they don't even let yeah, you hit. Right. And then if you do hit in the next yeah, you're league, ninth. <laughs> you're very last. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, to have the number three hitter, and Brooks is the number two hitter for Rochester, just kind of shows you, too, with smaller schools, you're one of the most athletic kids if you're on the mound, which means you're also going to be one of the better hitters. That one's high back toward us. There it goes. Hopefully we don't get any concussions today. Yeah. Britt and I tell you, we had a foul ball that actually for once hit did the camera. go back and smack the camera. Yeah. I mean, and that's pretty hard to do to hit. The exact point where the camera is, yeah. He said it knocked the memory card out and everything. Like, nice. A little outside there, Nicely one and done. two. Yeah, it's apparently it didn't do any damage because I think we have that camera this evening. Yeah, no, we should. We should. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's good to go. Just shake it off. Yeah, slightly used. <laughs> Refurbished. <laughs> yeah. That's a word they like to use. Comes the pitch. Ooh, Ooh dead ball there. This brings up number four hitter, the catcher Hewitt. Number 33, Zach, Zach Hewitt. Hewitt. Hey, we can actually count the lefties today. Yeah, first lefty we have so far. Get our lefty cam up. And on first base, not sure if he'll steal. They've been pretty adamant about keeping him out first. Good pitch there right down the middle. Much needed strike. Kind of get things rolling for Rochester. I don't know if they're actually going to be stealing here. I... They're not even faking like they're going to. Yeah, when you're a step and a half off first, you're probably not going very yeah, far. Yeah, unless you're real fast. <laughs> Comes the pitch, 0-1. A little outside on that one. One and one's your count. Some fun facts about Rochester baseball. Corey Good is the coach. Mm-hmm. His sister played high school softball with me and she is in her senior year at IUPUI playing college softball oh. this past week she had a monstrous weekend Uh-oh. she had 
I Big swing on that one, one and two. I think she had maybe five home runs in three games. Is that all? Her batting average was <laughs> 700. She scored, I think, I think she had, I don't even know how many RBIs. 700. There, yeah, her, her batting average for the weekend was 700. So she wow. did so well. I don't want to say numbers and get them wrong, but the RBIs and total bases, I think, were like 22. And uh, she ended up getting USA National Player of the Week. So she was a player of the week for the whole entire United States. Watch that one go by. A strike out there. Good out. Yes, out number one for Rochester. Those are some pretty incredible stats. Yeah, sidebar. It was. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty impressive. That is unbelievable. And cool, you know, to have a local teammate do something that impressive. There was a uh, Yanks game recently. Uh, Yanks Cubs. It went into the 18th inning. Uh, no one way. One of the. One of the players had 10 uh, RBIs. On the game? 10. God, that's, <laughs> that's two full baseball games. It is. That's um, annoying. Can you imagine? Do you think there are any fans left, or did you just? Probably. I mean, there are people there that paid $10,000 for their seats. So, I, so you I, might as yeah, well get two games worth. I suppose. Man, take a nap in the suite or something if you paid that. Yeah, much. why not? I mean, at that point. <laughs> Call me when the game's over. Yeah, they have full bar service there, so you could get whatever you wanted. This is true. Yeah. Counts of 1-0. and oh. One runner still on first base, just one out. Two to zero from the home run a few batters ago. Called that a ball. It looked pretty close, but I'm no ump. This is number 12, Hollowell. He's the DH for the first baseman, Shroff. Two knows your count. Here comes the pitch. Got a little bit of that one. Looks like he might. Oh. Ah, oh, dropped the ball. Yeah, chopper to shortstop. Thought it could have been a double play. Number seven, Alex Robbins. Just didn't get it with his glove. Alex Robbins heads to the plate. Second baseman, number seven for Whitco. Two runners now on for Whitco. High and inside on that one. Pretty close to the elbow, 1-0. and oh. We talked about this earlier before we started recording, but sectional draws came out, and Whitco and Rochester in the same sectional, so may not be showing all their tricks that they have up their sleeve this game, knowing that they they have a bigger game. meet up later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just not too long from now anyway. What's today, May 10th? Yeah, May 10th today. A couple weeks from now. Two knows your count. A couple high pitches. Comes the pitch. Right down the middle, foul chop. Two and one. Not very windy, at least. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is one of the first games it's we've cold. done it's cold. where I felt comfortable just sitting here, <laughs> not uh, freezing. Knock not on wood. Somebody knock on wood. Yeah, knock that's on close the enough. Plastic table in front of us. I got a metal fence and a plastic table. Yeah. That's all I got. Yep. It'll have to do. Yeah. Comes the pitch on the two and one. Nope. Gonna attempt the pick at second. Wasn't quite all far enough there. It's a tough one to pick. Yeah, turning all the way around. All the way around. They got to be all the way into a steal, I think. Mm -hmm. High on that one. Three and one. Probably going to have to get into that zone a little more here, dangerously so. Mm -hmm. Still keeping an eye on second out there. Here comes the pitch. Ooh. Chop foul? Chop foul, yep. 
Yeah, line drive foul. But yeah, like you said, when you get behind in the count, it gives that much more control to the batters, and then you've got to put it that much closer on the plate. That one could have turned bad, but dropped foul. Yeah, especially in that right field corner. That almost clears the bases. I think you get a couple in on that one for sure. Here comes the pitch. High fly to center. Left center, that's a caught fly ball. Runners get back. Good out on that yeah. one. Yeah. Out number two. Four, River West. Make it out of this with little damage. It's taking a little bit longer, but one more out and Zebras can try and get back on the board themselves. Get themselves out of this little bit of a jam here. Mm -hmm. Two to zero is your current score. Still keeping an eye on second out there, it looks like. Go well, outside on that one, one and oh. Sticking with his outside stuff. Seen a couple go high, but that was about it. comes the pitch. Yeah, the only inside pitch was the dead ball. Nope. It's like a pass ball. Runners are going to advance. <laughs> Definitely a different set of talk on the field between baseball and softball. Yeah, you've got a little more of the high pitch Sing, sing songy uh, jingles. Yeah, the chants. Yeah. That's where you get your jingles. I now it all so. makes sense. I think for my softball days. Comes the pitch, another in the dirt. Didn't lose that one, 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah, that was a run saved by Pfeiffer there on that stopped ball. Yep. That one just dropped dead, luckily. Mm -hmm. No bounce. Probably going to have to put some heat down the middle here. Comes the pitch on a 3 0. -oh. Outside, walked it. Bases loaded. Two, two to zero is your score. Zach Morris. That was number 24, West. The shortstop just drew the walk. And number 17, the right fielder, Morris. Zach Morris, to be precise. Is For those of you that? watching at home, yes, like that. <laughs> nice looking pitch there, just on the outside. 0 and 1. Much needed strike with bases loaded. This is a sort of a double-edged sword with two outs. It's uh, it's bad for the batter too because mm -hmm. almost every situation turns into an out. Right. If you hit it close to any base or person, yeah, you toast. Outside dirt on that one. I don't think they're that brave. No. <laughs> one and one. He's pretty close to take that yeah. one. Yeah, he could have got it back himself. I think. Yeah. Dive on the runner. Yeah. See some of those collisions baseball is so famous for at home plate. Yes, especially the ones that dive in head first. It's never a good idea. <laughs> the catcher's a brick wall. Right, just put your little tiny fingers and appendages in there. 1-1, one, one, chopped foul. You wonder at what point do you uh, use aluminum bats also in college, obviously. Is that... No, softball, different rules. We have composite bats. Oh. So that's like a... Yeah, a uh, fiber... Yes. Fiber, yep. Kind of like a plasticky fiberglass thing because uh, we are too close. <laughs> and people would die. Pitchers and third basemen and obviously why they don't use them in the major leagues too. Ooh, that was pretty close there. That was close on a 1-2 count. One, two on that check swing. They called it good. So Morris up to bat. Two and two. Two and two with two outs. Two and oh is your score. Let's see if he takes a real swing on this one. Comes the pitch. Yeah. Took a big old chop, strike three. Nice big out, way to get out of that jam. Rochester heads back to the dugout to grab their bats, try and put a couple on the board for themselves. You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back after this.
Carter Hooks. Go, Carter. Welcome back to the bottom of the first inning. Up to bat, leadoff for Rochester is number seven, your first baseman, Carter Hooks. On the mound for the Wildcats is number 21, Bradford. Yeah, they got camo helmets, it looks like. You were right, good observation. I did not catch that earlier. Bradford throwing some pretty good heat, working pretty, heat. Yeah. pretty quickly. This is the uh, type of baseball pitcher I like. Works fast. Yep. No pickoffs. All right, maybe yeah, maybe you have to pick off. <laughs> Come on, no one's on yet. <laughs> well, one side on that one looked like two and one. Yeah, some good movement too. Would be tough to pick anyone off right now. Yes. Yes, it would be. <laughs> Same pitch you missed earlier, two, two and two. Carter. Comes the pitch. Yeah. Got a good cut out of it, but it's foul. Same count, two and two. You are really Ooh, that was a close call. Full count now. I think one of those same pitches got called a strike. Yeah, inconsistency. Yeah, it happens. It does. Not that fun. Nope. But it happens. Ooh, big chop and a strikeout. Number 24, Aaron Brooks. Brings Brooks up to bat. As we discussed, the number two hitter, the pitcher. Watch this first pitch come in. A little high yeah, there on that high. one. Yeah, pretty high. It's the thing about speed. Control goes with it sometimes. Right. And the second pitch. Must have called that one outside. 2-0. and oh. Three and is your count. Comes that pitch. Right down the center, three and one. Yeah, it's hard on that one because you want to give the green light, but on three and oh, you don't want to swing anything but perfect pitch. Kind of had to figure that pitch was going to be perfect. Yeah, almost touch high. Three and two is your count. Comes the pitch. Ooh, little heat. Two strikeouts. Yes, Whitco. Number 10, Brady Perez. Uh, has a pretty good baseball team. I think they're ranked. Didn't, didn't get the exact specifications as to who, what, and where, but yep. when you're ranked, pretty much means you got, Says a, something. got a solid team for sure. <laughs> nice looking strike there right down the middle again. Outside on that one, one and one. Ooh, big chop, one and two. Kind of bit on that outside stuff there. <laughs> Comes the pitch. Oh. Chop foul back behind us here. No danger on this one. One and two still the count. Comes the pitch. Yeah, you're gonna strike three. That's uh, one, two, three strikeouts. Yeah, beginning for Whitco. 
that'll bring us to the top of the second. We'll be right back. You're watching RTC TV4. And we're back here, top of the second, up to bat number 10, Craig. He's the ninth batter, so leadoff batter's on deck. Whitco was able to get through a heavy portion of their lineup that first inning. And Rochester just Oop. up and down, one, two, three. Got him to bite on that outside stuff there, one and one. Comes a pitch on an 0 and 1. Yeah, that's a nice pitch. Good looking pitch there. A little more of that outside stuff. Just got it on the corner there. I believe the count's actually 0 and 2. It just got corrected, maybe. Yeah, two strikes. Yeah. Well, that's not it either. <laughs> no, it's just too. I would have to say it's the other way. <laughs> and here comes the pitch. A little outside. I'd call it 1 and 2. <laughs> the umpire does as, as well. As he's making notes. Yes. There we go. Comes the pitch on a one and two. Outside on that one, two and two. <laughs> okay, I guess that one counted as two. Or not. So two and two is the count? Question two and mark. two is the count. Okay, well zero. Exclamation point. Zero outs. No outs. Comes the pitch on a two and two. Big chop and a strikeout. Out number one. It's a big strikeout. They ended the inning with a strikeout. Started the inning with the strikeout, looking looking good. Lots of random yelling. Not 100% not sure what they're yelling right now. <laughs> Lead off batter number 15, Goff. Up to bat for Whitco. Mm, big old never mind. Number 15, in the Landon Goff. Um, Unnecessary timeout. Was that a mask adjustment timeout? I'm not, not sure. sure. What, uh, that was a, you were taking too long. I'm going to be annoying. Take a timeout. That's good. Yeah. That helps the game speed up. It does. Here comes the pitch. High fly ball to center. Joey Rock going back on it. going to hit the fence. He's going to round two. And it looks like a stand-up double. Good crack at that one. Yeah, that was pure center shot. Pretty close to out of here. 
my depth perception on a baseball field is off, so I'm, to bat for Whitka, <laughs> every time three, they hit Alex. one, I'm like, it's a home run, it's a pop fly to left field. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely out of the infield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it would be a different depth by far to what you're accustomed to. Yes. Yeah. Tap it. I get a little bit of leeway. What's center here? Do you know? Do you know how far center is? Oh. Can't see the marker if there's one. 350. <laughs> I like how there's a question mark at the end of there that. There is. Maybe Hi, it's, maybe it's fly up to left. Looks like that will be. Nice. Yeah. Great grab out there in left field. Diving catch. That is Zach Deshaun. Great grab out there. Saved some runners advancing. Number 21, Drew Bradford. Brings Bradford up to bat. I believe he cleared the bases last inning. He did? Yep. That he did. Keeping an eye on second as usual. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, little chin music there. That was a close call. 1-0. and oh. <laughs> I love that term. What does that even chin mean? Chin music? That's from okay. wrestling, actually. Really? Yeah. It was a move. We were talking about that earlier, how wrestling's... Fake? Not so real. Not so... Ooh. Ooh. Just about lost that one. That was one. a good save by Perez. Could have. That'd be ugly if it got away from him. That would have been an E in a free base. Mm -hmm. There's a softball cheer that says we love free bases. We love free bases. I definitely heard that one. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Oh. That one's a fair ball. Looks like a run's going to score. And, yep, another stand-up double. Yeah, that was a nice dive, though. I mean, Young did everything he could. It was just a sharp hit down the line. Just barely stood in, too. Makes your score 3-0. Okay. Right, right. right. Number 33, Zach Hewitt. Brings up number 33, Hewitt. Runner out on second. Comes a pitch. Solid line drive to right. Looks like it's going to go foul. It's a relief when it, that goes foul because that's a <laughs> sharp hit. That was very tough to field. Come on, AB. Comes a pitch. <laughs> On the outside corner there, own two. <laughs> two outs here in the top of the second inning. Comes a pitch on an 0 and 2. Oh. High cut. It was a smash foul. Well foul. <laughs> Looks like he could get a good cut of one. Yeah, I'd keep him on the outside corner. Yeah. A little too comfy with those inside pitches. That's the side Brooks likes yeah, to stay on. Yeah, it's backwards for Brooks. Mm -hmm. Comes a pitch. Oh. Ooh, big old chop on that one. Bounces Hits the fence. the fence. One's going to score. Another double, it looks like. Yeah, back to back doubles with two outs. Uh, yeah, there was a hitter in between there, I guess. There's there? three doubles this inning. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Makes you score 4 0. So sectional opponents here. Up to bat, number 12, Just Austin Just a few Howell. weeks. Austin Howell comes up to bat for Manchester. Mm, Manchester's I mean not Wick, here. I mean Whitco. Yeah. In my defense, I've done two games back-to-back -back with Manchester. That's fair. In them. And what were the uh, 
What were the run counts total between those two games, by um, the way? Manchester scored... Like 44 runs yes. in two games. Yes, you are correct, and I was able to be a part of each and every one of those runs. Well, one game was in winter and one was in spring, so yeah. at least there's that. Exactly, that was very cold. Not sure why we did that. We should have a temperature. If it's not sunny in 75, I'm sorry. We will not do many games, I don't think. Here comes the pitch. <laughs> Good looking pitch on the inside there, one and one. Maybe we should just move. You know, there's food for thought. Just not live in Indiana? Yeah, that's what I tell people whenever they complain about the weather. I say, you always have options. You don't have to it's stay It's a big here. country. <laughs> it really is a big country. Lots of different weather. Go see patterns. parts of it. Comes the pitch. Took a swing on a dirt ball there. One and two. Great for Brooks whenever they swing at something like that. Yeah. I was always a fan as a pitcher. Please swing at the ones I missed. Yes. I, may, I messed up. Yes. I appreciate that. Please swing at the ones I missed on. Yes. Checking out second base out there. One and two. Here comes the pitch. A line drive right up the center here. Looks like it's going to be a ground ball. Yep. Nice pick. That'll end that half of the inning. That'll bring us to the bottom of the second. Zebra's back up to bat. You're watching RTC TV 4. Welcome back to the bottom of the second inning where your number four batter, Zane Young, also the third baseman, is up to bat. Four to zero, Whitco in the lead is the score here. Bradford still the pitcher for Whitco. He's got kind of a funky, some funky movement on the ball. If you watch right before it gets to the batter, whether it's a high or low pitch, it just kind of breaks. Yeah. Big high yeah. swing to left field yeah, there. Nice Looks like it's going to be uh, at the very least a double. Stand up double for the leadoff. Yeah, that's a good way to go opposite field. That was a fastball. As he didn't have to put much into his swing because the pitcher's providing power. Just kind of stick your bat out there and let it go. It's a nice hit. Kind of what the zebras needed here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little momentum a little boost. Off. Get things rolling. Yep. Austin Foster, your DH. He's hitting for the Up catcher, bat, Pfeiffer. Eight, Austin Foster. Got to love that leadoff double. You don't get that uh, double play situation. That's yeah, exactly. Handily here. Gives you a runner in scoring position right off the bat. Well, back towards us here. 0 and 1. Luckily, you're not parked anywhere near here today. Yeah, I try and make it a, a goal to park way far away from. If they hit your vehicle from here, I think they deserve something. Yeah, that's... Some sort of prize. That's a one that heck of a shot. It would be a heck of a foul shot. Took a chop on that one. Going two. Bradford doing a good job of working ahead quickly, keeping the batters on their toes. He doesn't really let them wait around and get comfy. He just kind of goes right at them. That's what you got to do. Comes a pitch. A little outside on that one. One good and two. Good eye on that by Foster. He just took the bait the pitch before that so he was able to hold not swing at the dirt ball looked like he wanted it though yeah it had a good <laughs> it had a good break to it it's kind of one and two 
chop foul. One and two. Nothing a pitcher hates more than just throwing pitch after pitch that you foul off and foul off and foul off. They just want you to be out already. And nothing the batter behind you loves more. Exactly. <laughs> Making that pitcher put in the work. Comes the pitch on a one and two. Chipped it. Tipped it back off into the catcher. One and two still your count. It's not bothering to look at second base much. There he goes. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, took a big chop at that one. Strike out. Nice pitch, though. That was a dirty pitch. So out number one with still a runner on up to bat, second base. Up to bat, number 21, Joey Rock. Joey Rock, your center fielder, comes up to bat. Big chop on that inside pitch, 0-1. Got some catcher maintenance problems currently. Well, they got a lot of gear on, you yeah. know. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> hey, yeah. stick me back there without anything. But oh, I quit. Yeah, that would be a terrifying position to play, <laughs> for sure. Take a look out a second. Here comes the pitch. Chopped. Goes foul. <laughs> they still wanted him to run, though. Yes, always. You they were know. intent on it. It's going to hit a rock and come back in. Sadly, I've seen crazier things happen. That one would have had to hit a large rock. <laughs> a boulder. Yeah. Get that off the field. Why is that there and in the third base line? It doesn't seem to make any sense. Comes the pitch on an 0-2. Back toward us. Luckily, it's not going to kill us. That's a good thing. Probably wouldn't work here if that's... Well, that, the, that was the, the imminent threat was always there. <laughs> there are some softball fields, even in college that I went to, mm -hmm. where the dugouts just didn't have a fence on the front. Well, that's scary. And like, you know, in softball, High on that one. the dugouts aren't dugouts. They're just sitting on top of the field. So <laughs> you literally were just, it was you and the air and the foul ball that was coming at your face. Sure. Yeah, that seems safe. <laughs> I just don't know what what they what law they passed that allowed them to have that big old swing and yet another strikeout here i, I believe that's number five on the day yeah five out of uh, for the zebras number one out of six. bryce layman so bryce layman the right fielder up to bat comes a pitch High and outside. I think he lost it a little on that one. One and oh. <laughs> Good looking strike there. One and one. He really is throwing some heat. Yeah. Four to zero, still your score. Whitco in the lead. Big chop on that one, one and two. He's giving him good pitches to swing on at least. Yeah, they're right there just moving at the last minute. A little outside, two and two. As long as you don't swing on pitches like that. Yeah. Don't give him anything he didn't earn. Probably would have fell on his face. Trying to reach it. Yeah. Comes the pitch on a two and two. Big old swing, and that's six strikeouts. That's going to bring us to the top of the third here on RTC TV4.
Back here, top of the third, number seven up to bat, Robbins. Comes the pitch. Good looking strike there on the outside, 0 and 1. We're spotting all kinds of lefties, lefties today. Yeah. Got Whitco. some unicorns on the field. Whitco has a handful. Big chop. Just like it will. Fall fair. And another stand up double. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he got a got to hang on to it with his glove, but looked like it was close. Close play. Up to bat number twenty four, River West. Brings up twenty four West. River West. River West. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's the name. River. Reminds me of Adam West. Used um, to be Batman. Oh, he did? Yeah. I like the Christian Bale Batman the best. I won't do my voice, but... Your Batman voice? I should. I should do my Christian Bale Batman voice. Is he your favorite Batman? No. Oh. Outside on that one, 1-0. One oh, Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman. I guess Christian Bale's only my favorite Batman because it's the only... It's the one you... Yeah, it's yeah. the one you grew up with. And he was on Newsies when we watched it in middle school. People don't talk much about Newsies. They don't? Because they don't want anyone to know that Christian Bale was in that film. <laughs> Why? Because that's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> I would think. And yeah. musically singing. I think that he probably doesn't like it when people bring it up. <laughs> that was like his most famous. Like, this <laughs> what got him going. <laughs> sure. No? Oop, looks like we're runners moving here. Oh. Pitch down to third, and he's in. Looks like he's going to go ahead and round and score. Missed attempt there at third base. Results in a run. Five to zero is your score. Yeah, I just can't imagine a guy going to his uh, Oscar acceptance speech and being like, I remember where it all began. Newsies. Newsies. This is true. Yeah. So. Make a valid point. Comes the pitch on a one and one. Good looking strike there. One and two. I don't know if, I guess I don't know if Christian Bale's been nominated for any Oscars. He's had some good movies. He's had some, he has had some good movies, yes. Absolutely. Comes the pitch on a one and two. In the dirt on that one. Two and two. Good block by Pfeiffer. Pitch on a two and two outside that'll fill up the count here. I don't know if any of the Batmans have won an Oscar. Has James Bond won an Oscar? Which James Bond? Here comes the pitch. Ooh. Count foul ball right back at us. Shaky cam. But it did not strike the camera. No. That makes a difference. That is, it makes all the difference. That's right. No outs here with nobody on base. Comes the pitch on a full count here. It's like a fly ball out there in right field. Good communication on that one. Luis makes the catch. That's the first out of the inning. Up to bat, number 17, Zach Morris. Zach Morris comes up to bat. Yeah, the next batter will be A.C. Slater. <laughs> You'll get the joke or you won't. I get it. He's the blonde one, right? No. That's Zach. Here comes the pitch. He's the uh, job on that. The afro one. We'll count it. That counts. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mario Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Here comes the pitch on an 0 and 1. Big chop on that one, too. 0 and 2. Wait, so what's the kid's name? The goofy one with the afro hair. Uh, that's Screech. That's, that's right. his name. That's in, right. 
He has a pretty awesome real life name. Which is? Dustin Diamond. Oh, yeah. Dustin You're learning all kinds of things Diamond. today. Here comes the pitch on an 0 and 2. Took a chop at that one. It's like it. Stayed was fair. A fair ball? That nah, was a foul ball. Yeah. Foul ball. I think he wanted it to stay fair. Easy out. It was good practice, if nothing else. Yeah. Get a good throw in, keep your arm loose. Yep. This is baseball. It doesn't care about your wants. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Comes the pitch, 0 and 2. Back at us yet again. And they're not looking right at us, so it's not going to hit us. Yes. That's good, good deal. That's good. When if everyone they start starts jumping running, out of their seats, yeah. that's when we need to move. We need to go. Yeah. Do we protect the cameras or just ourselves? We run. Okay. That's what we do. Okay. Fall out of the way. Comes the pitch outside on that one. Just a touch. That was close, though. Hard to take with two strikes. Pitch. One and two. He can look around a bit on this. This kind of count. Comes a pitch on a one and two. Took a chop at that one. Yeah, Strikeout. Nice Good strikeout on that one. Two outs. Number 10, Colin Craig. Brings up number 10, Craig. Backed off on that one. <laughs> Two outs now. This is Craig. Yep. Comes the pitch. Low outside, 1-0. Oh. Gotta wonder what it's like being cramped in that squat position the whole time. Yeah. If never caught. Piper's really tall, too, so <laughs> doesn't really help his cause. Yeah. Yeah. Got those long frog legs. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be thrilled by the comparison. Yes. With the pitch. Ooh. Ooh, ow. Right in the leg there. Get that. 1-0. Oh. Nice. It's like he got the out. You know, got stung have, on that might one. might have been his shoe. I mean, it made such a loud noise, and he's walking fine. Either way, it looked mean. Yeah. Brings us to the bottom of the third. You are watching RTC TV 4. We'll be right back. And we're back, bottom of the third, up to bat, Deshaun. Right up the center there, 0-1. Comes the pitch. Took a chop at that one, 0-2. Maddie, jump on the first ball fastball. 
Goes a pitch. That's, you can't watch that one go by. That's another strikeout. Number three, Matt Lease. So Rochester. So Rochester just now getting to their number nine batter. First time through their lineup completely. That was a strike. Come on, that's the one you want. Good looking pitch. Can't be afraid of those. Comes the pitch on an 0 and 1. Another strike. It's a little low, but what do I know? 0 and 2. Comes the pitch. Outside on that one, 1 and 2. Comes a pitch. That looks like a second strikeout for the inning. Bradford really doing a good job on the mound for Whitco. Up to bat for the Zebras, top of the line, number seven, Carter Hooks. I am noticing he actually has some stuff. It's not all just heat. Yeah, no, he does have quite I've a bit of movement. Some, I'm seeing some drop off the table. Some good breaking yeah. pitches. And the amount of time that they break doesn't give the batter any time to decide, so that makes nope. it so, so dangerous. Comes a pitch way inside there. Pretty close call. One and zero. Oh. If he had any more plate on that one, I think he would have found it with his elbow. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Comes the pitch. Nice. Big swing to right field. Looks like it's gonna fall fair. Good looking single on that one. Number 24, Aaron Brooks. Brings up Brooks, your pitcher, number 24. Hoping to get some production here on the other side. Yeah, try and get a rally with two outs. Comes the first pitch. Not so sure about that one, but it was a called strike, 0-1. Keeping an eye on first over there. Not much of a lead. Here comes the pitch. That was definitely a strike. 0-2. Oh Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. As long as he doesn't just watch it go by. 0-2 oh with a chop. two outs. Carter Hooks on first base. 5-0 is your score still. Bottom of three. Comes the pitch. A little high on that one. Back at us. Hopefully nobody's parked back there. Good pitch to protect on, though. He had Bradford has been throwing it high, kind of breaking it in the zone. So it's a good defense swing there. Comes a pitch on an 0 and 2 count. Mm. That's three strikeouts on the inning. Make that nine strikeouts so far this game. That'll bring us to the top of the fourth. You are watching RTC TV4. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the top of the fourth inning where your leadoff batter for the Whitco Wildcats is up to bat again. Landon Goff watches ball one hit the backstop. Looks like number three on Whitco has a fine looking mustache. He is the one that hit the that? home run. Yeah. And that's how I remember because his beaming mustache came across home plate. High fly to center. Looks like it's going to fall for a single. You don't see the mustache much anymore. No, and especially not in high school aged boys. Number three, Alex Bechtold. They're young men. Young, okay, young men. Okay, they're probably boys, yeah. <laughs> Depends on your definition of each. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Some men are boys into their 50s. <laughs> this is true. I plan on being one. As long as you get ice cream all the time. That's that's kind of what, uh, that's, that's how I measure success. <laughs> that's a benefit then. Just a little how do you do there. Didn't throw it over. Just keep it in check. pitch out of this one. Comes the first pitch. High foul out of right there. 0-1. Oh Still keeping a good eye on first over there. Comes the pitch. Low outside. Runner's going. So they got him. Yeah. They definitely got him. Yep. It's the first out of your inning. That one wasn't even close. It looked like he got spooked. Yep. Two and two is the count. No more runners, so a little pressure off. Comes a pitch. Low and outside. That'll fill the count. Comes the pitch on a full count. Big chop and a strikeout. Make that out number two. Zebra's hoping for a Quick one. Number 21, Drew Bradford. Zebra defense seeming to get a little more improvement each inning that they play here tonight. Up to bat 21, Bradford. A little inside there, 1-0. Comes a pitch. Big chop on that one. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to fall in for a single. Made good, good, solid connection on that swing. It's basically the exact kind of hit every coach wants you mm -hmm. to get. Nothing you could do about it on defense. Number 33, Zach Hewitt. Number 33, Hewitt up to bat. Runner on first. Keeping an eye as always. Yeah, 
Go to the pitch. Big chop on that one, 0 and 1. Keep him chasing, he'll get out of this one unscathed. Mm hmm. Two outs here. Oh, it's like that one's going to clear the gap there. Mm -hmm. Runner will attempt to advance the third, and he will. Runners at the corners. Whitco trying to put a little something together here. Yeah, one more out, innings over, but a misplay definitely be bad for the Zebras. Whitco could score again with the runner on third. Looks like they're bringing in a pinch runner here. Probably going to steal here. Um, to bat number 12, Austin Howell. They're not playing especially aggressive on the runs, but... With a runner on third, I didn't know if they'd risk it. Yeah. It's a tough situation with two outs. Doesn't really look like he's advancing like he's going to. One zero comes the pitch. Nice chop there. Oh, it's like a bobble. Another run plated. Six zero. Those things will take a bad hop sometimes. Yeah, especially in the grass. Yeah. Number seven, Alex Robbins. I think that one popped off his glove. Mm-hmm. Alex Robbins, the second baseman now up to bat. Runners on first and second. Comes the pitch. Outside on that one, 1-0. One oh. Whitco's been making pretty solid contact the whole time. Yeah, just... Consistent. Steady hits. Yeah. All spraying it all over the field. Makes a difference. The pitch chop right back at us. That pulled his head hard. That one hurt. hurt to really, watch. really going for that camera. Yeah. If Whitco just let us know who to send the bill to, that would be fine. Yeah. Can fix this pretty please. Looking for that pick attempt. Second. No, no dice. Rochester's easy. We can walk across the street and get the money there. If they smash our camera. True. Yeah. True. Chops. Look like that'll be it. Yeah. Oh. Three outs with a borderline football maneuver there. Yep. That's good stuff. <laughs> 6 0 is your score. Heading to the bottom of the bottom fourth of the inning. Fourth. We'll be back after this.
And we're back here, bottom of the fourth. Up to bat first is number 10, Perez. Perez, the short stop for Rochester. Took a big old Apache swing at that one, 0 and 1. Low inside on that one, 1 and 1. Side on that one, two and one. He's trying to get him chasing. Two and one. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Three and one. And one of the rare times he's been down on a count. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I haven't seen that much tonight. Comes the pitch on a three and one. Nice chop right down the third base line. It's going to be a drop and a single for Perez. Up to bat number two, Zane Young. Just couldn't quite field that one. Yeah, sharp hit ball, tough play. How many hits is that? Two hits today for the Zebras? Three, Three hits. We've got Hooks, uh, Zane Young, who's up to bat now, and then Perez. Perez. Young went to left center, Hooks went to right center, and then that previous hit by Perez. I think he wanted to put that one behind the fence mm -hmm. somewhere on an 0-1. Mm-hmm. Come on, Zane. Decent lead over there on first for Perez. Here comes the pitch. Way outside. Oh. He's trying to catch him. Helps, he that he's, back. helps that he's so tall he can just dive, stretch. Dive back quickly. Just fall down and yeah. reach your hand out. And be back to first. Yeah. Personally, I would have to be two thirds of the way to the next base. Exactly. Yeah. And hope they don't see me. Here comes the pitch. <laughs> Have the invisibility the cloak, cloak. Yeah. There. Um, that would make baseball more interesting. <laughs> if invisibility were a factor, yep. I think. You only get one invisibility per game. You That's right. You choose that time. I would always choose it when I was on third base. You just walk home. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh. Make that another. Oh, that stuff. Thought he was Safe going. Second. So they made an error. We missed the out though. Young struck out. With another strikeout. <laughs> it is crazy though, I think there's been three hits this game, mm -hmm. but the only outs have been strikeouts. Right? Accurate, yeah. There's been no pop flies, no ground balls. It's either been... But usually when you have that many strikeouts, you don't even have any hits, you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting game chemistry we've got today. A bunch of one, two, three Batting innings. Number eight, Austin Foster. Foster, the DH for the catcher, Pfeiffer. Up to bat for Rochester. Trying to get some movement on a bun, it looked like. Mm -hmm. Perez is taunting. Like third base coach got that one pretty well fielded. Barehanded, no less. Really? Yeah. Computer was in my way. I couldn't see it. That'll happen. Missed it. Oh. Wow, that took a long time to decide. It was a great attempt. He didn't know whether he was safe or out. He was three quarters of the way down the line when he received right. the pitch. 
Another strikeout. Makes it two outs with Joey Rock coming up to bat. Perez so close on third base. Just a pass ball would get the Zebras on the board. Batting number 21, Joey Rock. Good, Joey. Good block. Put that one in the dirt. Catcher right, Hewitt. Joey, let it go. Just let it go. There you go, Joey. Yeah, all right, come on. Just do your thing. Do it. Comes a pitch on 0 1. Oh, called strike on the offer. Does that make it 0 2? Mm -hmm. I think we're a little behind in the count here. On the scoreboard. Two outs. Well, it's not 0-3. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Comes the pitch. Way high. I don't think he wants him to bunt. No, not with two outs. Well, they've showed bunt twice. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do it anymore with this count, but one, one and two. two. Oh, yeah. Strike out. Six zero is your score. Whitco still in the lead, heading to the top of the fifth inning. You're watching RTC TV Four. We'll be back. We're back, top of the fifth, up to bat, River West, number 24. After they have a little conference here with the ump, apparently. Fly ball, maybe? Oh. Nice attempt. Like it fell in. Good attempt, but that did look like it hurt his guts a little yeah. there. Yeah. Wasn't a sliding dive. It was more of a Number seven fall. Zach yes. Morris. It was a fall. Zach Morris up to bat. Looking for a Zach attack on this one. I will not apologize. <laughs> Not much of a lead off there on first. Brooks keeping an eye as usual. Comes a pitch. Kind of a bunt. 
Again, Litko trying to hit our camera. Rude. Well, it would be if they managed to connect. <laughs> That's true. You know, they were well off of that one. Setting up like he might bunt. Oop. Checking first. Not so much. Comes pitch. Shows bunt. Good idea to let it roll foul. Just about died fair on the third base line, but rolled right over. Those are the ones that almost always end up with a single. The ones that die right on the line. Yep. Catcher waits, and then it falls fair. Oh, and two. Still showing like he might bunt here. There it comes. Foul again. Foul again. Number 10, Colin Craig. High on that first pitch, 1-0. Oh. <laughs> Wind's not much of a factor for the ball today either. Nope. No travel. Comes the pitch. Nice pitch right up the center there. Could be turn two, maybe. Oh. Nope. Lost the ball on that one. Looks like the runner will advance to second. What are they debating? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe if Number the 15, Landon runner Dolph. didn't touch first base? No, they were yelling blue. Um, I'm not sure. I thought someone lost a contact, but I mean, surely you wouldn't have seen that. No. They have sharp eyes out there if they did. Here comes the pitch. Way inside on that one, 1-0. But two outs. Six to zero is your score. <laughs> Keep an eye on second base. Nice slide strike there on the outside, one and one. Comes a pitch on a one and one. Chopped wave foul out into the bushes. One and two. <laughs> One and two comes the pitch outside, two and two. Now there was the semi on the way here that went by. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
teach no more. Give it up, your kid. Give me that first pass, bro. Let's go. Here comes a pitch. That one was right at the camera. 0 <laughs> oh 1. Ooh, might be a double play. To turn two here. Good. Let me see. That is the first out that has not been a strikeout this game. Fun fact of the fifth inning. <laughs> yeah. Zebra's starting to put the ball in play a little bit more consistently. Comes a pitch. Check swing pretty high on that one, 1-0. One Matt Lee's up to bat for Rochester. Comes the pitch. Just about the same pitch. One and one. Could tell he wanted the first one. Mm -hmm. Just about the worst pitch you could swing at, I think. But the most tempting. <laughs> That's why it's the worst. <laughs> comes the pitch. Yeah, a little on the outside, but one and two. Oh. It's like they're going to get the out at second. Tough play, good grab by the shortstop as he gets the out at second. About fell on his face. Up to bat, number seven, Carter Hooks. Hooks up number seven, Hooks. Hooks, the first baseman and leadoff batter. Zebra's looking to produce here. I'd say that was a touch high, 1-0. and oh. You hang one of those breaking pitches too hard, you'll regret it. Mm -hmm. Comes a pitch. Sure looked like a strike to me, two and one. What? I think he called a swing. No, he called a strike. I know. <laughs> Comes pitch. Low outside on that one, three and one. I think only the second time that Bradford's been in this count position. Yeah. Only the second hitter's count that he's experienced. In five innings. Yeah. And covers that it up with a strike. A beautiful strike there, three and two. If you're looking for the ball you want to hit, that was the one. Counts full. Keeping an eye on first over there. Comes the pitch. Way back behind us. Chop that one foul. Three and two, still the count. Second first. Yeah. 
Comes a pitch. Whoa, way inside. First walk of the game. Yep. Seabers have a little momentum. Up to bat number 24, Aaron Brooks. I don't mean to alarm you, Abby, but I think I just heard a sheep. You did. I believe. High fly to center field. Looks like it's playable. And that's your third out. That's going to bring us to the top of the sixth. You are watching RTC TV4. Welcome back to the top of the sixth inning. We have a pitching change for Rochester. The center fielder, Joey Rock, has come in to throw. The opposing pitcher, Bradford, is up to bat for Wicko. 0-1, here comes the pitch. A little high inside, 1-1. One one. Was hearing sheep on our side, and now I'm hearing some sort of warbling bird on Wicko's side. It's all about the distraction. I guess. Comes the pitch. Big old chop on that one. One and two, I believe, is the count. <coughs> Not sure where that is, but it's well out of play. <laughs> one and two, the count remains. Thank <laughs> you. 
got tired. Comes the pitch. High fly ball to straight center field. Looks like that'll be playable. And it is one down here in the top of the sixth. Number 33, Zach Hewitt. Zach Hewitt comes to the plate. I think Bradford was trying to win the game all by himself. Yeah, with nobody on base. Yeah. Comes the pitch. A little foul tip there. On a big swing, 0-1. Comes a pitch. Outside on that one, one and one. <laughs> Low inside, going to be two and one. Two and one, here comes the pitch. Watch that strike go by, two and two. Good snag there. Full count, three and two. Big chop straight center. Like that ball's gonna go out. Well, it sure did travel, didn't it? Yeah. It's like a homer there. 7 0 Whitco. I wasn't quite sure. It looked like it hit the fence, but it must have bounced over. Yeah, there was kind of a delayed reaction yeah. from people yeah. determining whether it was. Yeah, I don't even think he was sure. Yeah. Yeah. Up to bat, number 12, Austin Howell. Number 12, Howell up to bat. Comes the pitch. Nice looking strike on the outside there, 0 1. Comes a pitch. Chopped foul. 0 oh 2. <laughs> Looking for a strikeout on this pitch if you get one. 0-2, oh, here comes the pitch. Looks like a strikeout. Big out number one. Number two. Number two. The board is on a delay. I think you were. I think the board was fine. No, I looked up. It said one. Number seven, Alex Robbins. <laughs> Yeah, it did prior to him striking out. <laughs> Whatever. Two outs here. Comes a pitch. Nice looking strike there. Going one. Comes a pitch. Way high. One and one. In the dirt on that one, two and one. Looks like Whitco's got another pitcher warming up. Possibly the closer. Rochester was able to get the bat on the ball quite a bit more than they were the previous innings to the last inning. 
Low and outside on that pitch, three and one. Yeah, they did get quite a bit of contact. If that if that passes for spooking Bradford this afternoon, then yeah, line shot. Roper there, looks like that's going to be a single. Number 24, River West. Seven to zero now, Whitco holding the lead. Comes a pitch. A little outside on that one, one and oh. Just looked and saw Brooks out there, second base. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're done pitching? Too bad. Keeping an eye on him there at first. Two knows your count. Low and outside, 3 0. Come on, Joey. Good, Joey. Comes a pitch. Yeah, there's a strike, 3 and 1. Nice pitch. There's the wind we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little breeze. Big chop on that one. Another three and two. Pitch. Tough to pitch with the pressure of a three and zero count. Rock doing a good job this batter. Way inside, he walks. Runners on first and second. Up to bat number 13, Bailey Platt. Looks like they're bringing in a sub here. Platt in to bat. Pinch hitter. Now Brooks is on the other side of the pickoff game. Yes, exactly. As the receiver <laughs> with the pickoffs. <laughs> and the dirt pass ball. Runners will advance. Come on, Joey. Two and the count on that dirt ball there. Comes a pitch. Three knows the count. Must have been a little high on that one. There was a strike, three and one. Been searching for the outside, it looks like. Yeah, trying to keep away from the strong pull hitters Whitco has. High fly ball to the infield here. Looks like that'll make three. And that'll do it. Gets them out of a jam in the top of the fifth inning. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Sixth, even. Sixth, you're right. We both messed that up this evening. Is it really six? Yep. I need some glasses. It would help. <laughs> you are watching RTC TV4. <laughs>
Welcome back to the bottom of the sixth inning. Brady Perez up to bat for Rochester. Score is seven to zero. Bradford still on the mound for Whitco. Maybe they're just faking them out with that warm up over there. Yeah, making them, making them think. Or not. Comes the pitch. Nice high fly ball to center field. Straight center. Oh, wow. That's what a nice catch. A great running snag that was. And he even looked a little bit confused when he turned left and then right and then left and then back right again. Wasn't the smoothest of catches, but it was very impressive. It's always hard when it's directly over your head because yep. you have no way to get that angle. Nope. Great grab, though. That makes it one out. Young up to bat. Comes the pitch. Pretty eager to get a hit, it looks like. All over that one, just missed it. <laughs> oh, and one, here comes the pitch. Nice looking chop there. A little bobble, but he managed to keep it in his hand. Take that two down. Quick outs here. The scoreboard broke. Nope. It's still working. Number eight, Austin Foster. Shocking not to see strikeouts. Yeah. I know I shouldn't say that, but. Up until the fifth inning. Comes the pitch. A little chop there. Little infield. Trying to outrun it. And he was Ooh. safe. He wheeled that one out. Third baseman with a cannon. Just didn't get to that ball soon enough. Maybe the trick is to hit it softer, and then you can beat it. That's thinking. <laughs> That's thinking. I don't think you could bet on that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just a thought for a second. Rock up to bat here. Comes a pitch. A little high on that one. 1-0. One Come on, Joey. 1-0. Here's a pitch. A little tip there. 1-1. One one. No contact on that pitch. Probably would have helped. Could have advanced a runner. Way inside. 2-1. Comes the pitch. Caught him in a rundown. Think they're going to get him. And they did. Caught in a rundown between first and second. And that'll bring us to the top of the seventh. You are watching RTC TV4.
And we're back here, top of the seventh. Up to bat, number 10, Craig. Right at us on that one. At us uh, at the, the table over here. Yeah. Good thing it's not like softball. We have a fence over here. Yes. To not get hit in the face by a ball. <laughs> oh, good looking inside pitch there. 0 and 2. I'm right back there. Comes a pitch on an 0 and 2. There it is. How about a strikeout for you, Rock? Number 15, Landon Goff. Brings up number 15, Goff. Comes a pitch. A little outside on that one. One and oh. Big chop at that, one and one. <laughs> one down here at the top of the seventh. Comes the pitch. Go, Joey. Down. Two and one pitch. There you go. Yeah. Right there again. Two and two's the count. Comes the pitch. A little chop there to the infield. He got him. Two down. Number three, Alex Bechtold. Brings up Bechtold again. Comes a pitch. Ooh. That's not where you want to catch a ball. No. <laughs> He'll take home a souvenir with that one. one Drew Bradford. Colorful one. Yeah. If nothing else. Bradford back up to bat. Trying to do some work on the other side of the mound here. Well, and he's going to round three. Coming into third base. Looks like he might even go all the way on this one. And there he is. Ooh, that one hurts. Just hold the ball. Just don't throw it. <laughs> well, that hit in the shin must not have affected his speed too no, much. No. He was a speedy one around those bases. Comes a pitch outside. 2-0. That makes your score 8 0. Comes a pitch. <laughs> nice pitch. Inside strike there, 2 and 1. Comes a pitch. Two and two is your count on that foul chop. That'll 
be it for the top of the seventh, taking us to the bottom of the seventh. Hoping the zebras can put something on the board here. You're watching RTC TV4. Coming into the bottom of the seventh here. Rock will be up to bat first. Hoping to put something on the board here. Yes, hefty deficit can be done. Big swing. Starts off with one runner on base. Come on, kid. Relax. Comes a pitch on an 0 and 1. I'm not so sure about that one, but 0 and 2. My college coach always had a weird theory when we would go into the last inning. Okay. If we were down, let's say we were down by eight like this, mm -hmm. he would make us take the first strike until the winning run was at home plate. Not sure how that... Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. So we just... We, Superstition, maybe. Yeah. Or, yeah. Big swing on that one. One down here, bottom of seventh. Bryce Lehman, up to bat. Up to bat, number one, Bryce Lehman. I'm sure that stemmed from somewhere, like that, that yeah, idea. I mean. Or not, I guess, maybe. For, for, it was, for me, it was always hard because you've got different players, and some people love watching the first pitch no matter what. Sure. And some people can't hit very well with strikes on them. So, you know, making them take a first pitch they want strike. To take that. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, you know, sometimes it messes with their batter's mentality. I just always thought it was a kind of a weird thing to make us take a, a pitch. A little strange, yeah. Because it's not like she was necessarily going to walk the bases loaded normally. <laughs> right. Comes a pitch. Back at us. In touch here. In the fan section. It's going to be a foul ball. One and two. I hope someone didn't try to catch that. They probably yeah. messed their hands up pretty bad if they did. <laughs> There's always the hero that tries to catch the foul ball, and it never No, usually... yeah, I got it bare hand. It was in the lowest yeah. level of the atmosphere, and you tried to catch it with your bare hands. Exactly. Yeah. Doesn't go well. Nope. Comes the pitch on a one and two. Nice chop to right center. Just right field, I guess. I'll get in there for a single. Zach Deshaun. Number 12, up Zach to Deshaun. Come on, Zach. I like how on our scoreboard here, instead of numbering the hits and errors, it just says H when they get a hit. It does. And yeah. It was a hit. Oh, my God. Little chit chat on the mound. He's like, oh, you're okay. I'm not going to take the ball. Okay. You came out here to oh pat me on the behind. Even he thought he was out. Yeah. Nah, just kidding. Just wanted to take a walk. Yep. <laughs> Comes a 
comes the pitch. Way high. Mm. Good eye there by the catcher. Yeah, that's not the pitch you want to swing at. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Chop to second base. Looks like it's going to be uh, out at first. Two down. For the Zebras, number three, Matt Lease. Brings up number three, Lease. Come on, mate. Comes a pitch. Yeah. Nice hit. Nice solid strike out there to left center. Oh, and he dropped it. Looks like the Zebras are going to plate one here. Yep. Bottom of the seventh. That was in the glove. That was in the glove. And it bounced out. Number seven, Mr. Carter Hooks. Brings up number seven, Hooks. Hoping to tack another one on the board here, maybe a couple. Two down, bottom of the seventh. Comes the pitch. Good looking pitch just on the outside there, own one. This is the most human Bradford has looked all day. Yes. Last few innings. First five, he was untouchable. Literally. It's, yeah. One and one's your count. Just keeping an eye on first over there. Comes the pitch. A little high on that one. Two and one. Great observation by the dugout there. <laughs> if it wasn't a strike, then that could only be one other thing then. Process of I elimination. Believe. Yeah. Little eye. Took a chop at it. Two and two. He was trying to slap that one. Mm -hmm. He was trying to pull a play from the softball book there. It's never a good idea. He was already a quarter of the way to first base. <laughs> Only works in softball. Yeah. Two and two. Comes the pitch. Ooh, low on that one, I guess. Three and two. Yeah, that one's hard. I get it, though. You don't want to end the game bringing somebody up. I know I've seen that pitch call to strike today. Mm -hmm. Full count. Comes the pitch. Chipped it. Making Bradford work for this last one. Count still full. Comes the pitch. Nice line drive to left field, and it's Paul's in. Here we go. Round and third, and he will score. Make that two runs here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. Good little rally. Putting a little something together here. Now Bradford's going to go, I believe. It's a good opposite field hit for Hooks. And he says, why do I go now? Well, you probably know why. <laughs> Only in high school ball. Oh, he's leaving the game? Nope, nope, he's going to play first base. <laughs> And Whitco finally has their first pitching change. I guess they weren't warming him up for no reason. Uh, 
Back to back for the Zebras, number 24, Aaron Brooks. Actually turned out to be a beautiful day for baseball. Yes. A recipe. A good wind. <laughs> I mean, not wind. You know what I mean. I know what you meant. Good not wind. And good not rain. And, and no snow. <laughs> yes. Whatsoever. And good sun. No temperatures in the 40s. No. Brings Brooks up to bat, the pitcher slash second baseman slash potentially RBI here. Mm-hmm. Eight to two now in the bottom of seven. Two outs. Comes a pitch. Ow. Right off the ump's face. Right back at us. Jingle it just a tiny bit. Austin Hollowell <laughs> is the new pitcher. Two and one. Here comes a pitch. Woo! Work, kid. Um. Unnecessary, but. Nonetheless, one exciting. and one. I'm not sure it was that either. No. It was, uh, it was interesting. Whatever it was. Drop back at us, over the top of their building. One and two. It sounded like someone was going to announce, let go of my purse after that. <laughs> um, the Yelp. Yeah. But I didn't hear that, so we'll move on. One and two. Here's the pitch. And a big strike out there to end the game. That brings the final to eight and two, eight to two. Whitco wins this afternoon. Let me sign off. That's kind of what the silence was for, Abby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Abby Malco and Tim Wagner here hey, hey. at Rochester High School. Thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.